Problem number 25. Of 118 randomly selected adults, 34 were found to have high blood pressure. Construct a 95% confidence interval for the true percentage of all adults that have high blood pressure. So this is a confidence interval for a percentage. So whenever you have a confidence interval for a percentage, you have to find n, which is the total number of observations, and x, which is the total number of successes. We have 118 randomly selected adults, so n is equal to 118. And then success in this problem is to have high blood pressure, so x is equal to 34. That's it. Once we have n and x, we can go to StatCrunch. So in StatCrunch, we simply go to Stat, Proportion Stats, One Sample, with Summary. Again, it's Stat, Proportion Stats, One Sample, with Summary. Then you left-click. Successes is 34. Observations is 118. This is a confidence interval, and it looks like it was 95%. Everything looks okay, you click compute, and there's the answer there. So in decimal form, it would be 0.2064, it's the lower limit, and then the upper limit, uh, so 0.3699, that would be a confidence interval for the proportion. This problem wanted a confidence interval for the percentage, and it looks like it's one decimal. So if we round our answer to one decimal and a percentage. That basically means we move the decimal place over two places. We would get 20.6% and 37%. And that is choice D. Looks like D would be the correct answer in this case. That's it.